Well, probably since the first time you heard about this idea or trend, perhaps you have dreamed of working a shorter week for the same pay, mm. and now more companies are actually giving this a go. You see that big smile? It doesn't sound bad. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> California Congressman just introduced a bill to make a four-day work week the standard here in the U.S. Christy McDonald joins us now with exactly how this could work. It's yeah, up well, to you it sounds to pretty good, everyone right? that this is the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm up for the task. You know, it's an interesting concept, but first a little bit of history for you. Back in 1926, Henry Ford went from a six-day work week in the factory to five days with no change in compensation. That was pretty revolutionary. But how about five to four? It's all about productivity, and it is a movement that one Detroit company is trying. Southwest Solutions, how can I help you? It's a Thursday afternoon in Detroit at Southwest Counseling mm -hmm. Solutions. But for case manager Mike Barrett and bilingual clinician Amy Ortiz, it's there Friday. It's not a three-day holiday because of some holiday. It's uh, regular because I'm putting the work in to make it possible. I really value flexibility, you know, having time for myself. Amy and Mike have Fridays off all the time. They're part of a new four-day work week pilot at the center. 15 employees work Monday through Thursday, 32 hours a week, but are paid full time. Initially, I'm thinking, hey, a day off is cool. That's what I'm thinking. And realize the work doesn't go anywhere. You still got five days worth of work and four days to do it. The thing that kept coming up was like, can we look at a four day work week? Southwest Counseling Solutions Executive Director Jamie Ebaugh is always looking to retain and hire more staff. So he started reading about the four day work week last year. And it seemed to be a improvement. Um, not only on just the morale and the sense that people had, but productivity tended to improve in about 20 to 25 percent of them or stayed the same in the majority. So I thought, well, why wouldn't we start to look at that? He's not alone. The four day week global initiative started back in 2018. It's been studied in 350 companies around the world with more online now. Charlotte Lockhart is the founder. What you're looking at is how do you reduce work time that suits the business, its customers and its people. Of the companies that have completed the pilot, 92% have stuck with it, with happier staff who are less stressed, take less sick days, and according to the stats, have the same productivity, if not higher. This is a very bottom-up process. You have mm -hmm. to let your people find the productivity increases that allow them to go home. And when people have a full life outside of work, they bring a much better person to work. So it's economically viable to do this. The four day work week is just one of the many changes that we're seeing in the way we work. The pandemic really accelerated that working from home balance and also changed the way we value work in our lives and how companies are going after employees who want that kind of flexibility, especially millennials and Gen Z who are driving the changes at work. But busting down to four days with the same five-day workload takes structure. So back in Detroit, Jamie developed a program. We chose staff who are um, productivity-based, fee-for-service-based um, staff to make sure that, one, uh, this works financially for the company, and two, to get a cross-section of all our program. Jamie goes over the numbers month by month, and is it working? I think the biggest surprise was some of the people we chose to be in the program were on the lower level of productivity before the pilot, and they've actually increased and have shown improvement month to month. But it really has kind of helped them approach their work differently. Um, and that's kind of what we were hoping for, was that it gives a better work-life balance for people. Um, that makes you, when you're working those four days, want to really get in and do the work and then be done with it. Absolutely. And Jamie is the first to say this might not be for every company. And for management, it takes effort to think differently, trust employees, and monitor productivity. But he is getting a lot of calls from other companies who want to try it. Now they're asking for his advice. Yeah. So what about those employees who are not part of that four-day work week? Yeah, I did, I did ask right? about that because they're kind of from the outside looking in. Yeah. Jamie told me that they're actually trying to help offload things from those employees who are in it because they want to make this work because okay. they want to be a part of it yeah. um, and they want this to stick for everyone and again I think this is really also looking at management as well this comes from they have to manage maybe in a mm -hmm. different way and be open mm. to different things yeah. too. so I, I love the the fact that 90 what did you say 92 percent are right. staying with it so they've they found something here again 
if not the same or higher productivity, yeah. less sick yeah. time, happier employees. Amazing. So we start That's writing good. the letters and putting in oh, the yeah. suggestion well, box, right? Of course, yeah. no, you got <laughs> we're still in the wherever it breaks, wherever it takes, you know, That's whatever right. it takes. We're still business, always so be here. For I know, it. I know. So for now.